Hi, hello everybody, this is Ed Wisely. So I've got my main project going on, which is Half-Life 2 at the moment, and I wanted to do another little side project. So I've chosen Little Nightmares after Limbo. So this is a game by Tarsia Studios. Uh, I think Tarsia is a monkey. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I can't remember. But anyway, uh, this is a horror game. It's kind of got an indie vibe to it. It did come out for the PS4, um, and I think it had a bit more production budget than uh, than your regular indie title but it definitely has that that vibe to it and i kind of want to keep that going for my side projects that i do as well so it's a horror game if you can't tell by the creepy tense music that's going on in the background so i'm doing it right I've got it's all dark in here you can't see me but it is it's dark in here i've got my headphones on and i'm gonna absolutely cake myself as soon as anything scary happens because that's just generally what i do that's how that's how i roll in scary games so we'll we'll go on with this anyway to see what it's all about i'm terrified already Oh, jeez. Okay, so looks like we can move. We are a... Looks like a tiny person. Um, got, obviously, a, a, what I'm going to assume is a regular-sized suitcase, and I'm a person that can fit in the suitcase. Uh, seems like we're in some kind of dank basement or sewer. Everything looks really nice, really nicely made. I like the kind of style they're going for. Oh. So I can crouch, that's the left trigger. And I can jump. That's about it. Oh, I can press B to light thing. Light? Can I like that? Is that? Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was. Uh, it was. It was too center framed. It was. Uh, yeah, to, for it to be nothing. Let's see, can I? Must be able to pull that. Yeah, there we go. So it's not, not really telling us the controls, letting us figure it out by itself. I kind of like that. So I, can, I can light this zippo whenever I want. It must be a tiny ass zippo. I'm just thinking as a regular sized person, what that zippo would do. And I'm guessing that's going to put it... Oh no. I thought I was going to put my zippo out. Kind of got this side scrolling vibe going on, much like uh, Limbo. Panning out shows some scale there. I like it. It is good. Oh, is that somebody there? Hello. Oh no, it's just a little doll. So whoever we are, the coat seems kind of like an origami paper folding thing. Oh wow, this looks nice. This looks really nice. Oh shit, someone there. Shit, 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 shit. Hide. No, I think I press on. Oh cool, the bed's got some bounce to it. 
Well, that's obviously how we get up here. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. Use the same action button to grab as well. Oh, is that a dude hanging there? Wow. It's got grim fast. Yeah. Wow. Well, that door's looking at us, man. Oh, do I need to drag the chair over to get there? Cool. Oh, so I can I can manipulate into the foreground and background. I'm not I'm not restricted to one level, so I can pull it towards the camera as well if need to be. That's cool. Like a 2.5D kind of thing. I like that. Ugh. Got some black crud on the floor, some black handprints on the fridge. Okay, cool, yeah, 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 use the climb up. I know something's gonna creep its way out of the darkness and make me absolutely shit myself. Which I'm sure will be entertaining for you guys, but will knock serious years off my lifespan. Ah, dodge poo thing. Ah. Leeches. Switch here. And these are the things that we can like. Can we like this? Can we? I want to light it. I don't know if we need that or not. Oh, yeah, we can light it. Thing trying to do. Oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah. Okay. So they're hostile. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Hostile. Hostile's the place that you go to get cheap B and B's. Okay. So they kind of. Plot, for lack of a better term, um, down onto the floor, and you walk past them. Oh, it's already lit again. I don't think I need that. I just thought it was just there. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, it's definitely got a limbo vibe to it as well. I'm sure it's not the same studio either. Oh shit! Oh, oh crud! Oh no, I can't move that fast in this stuff. Oh no, 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 no. No, oh, don't strangle me again. Please don't strangle me again. Holy shit. It's like walking through the lion's den. Really nice use of cam work, they were really good. Oh, fuck. Is there a reason to light these? But yeah, like I say, really good use of camera work. I like how it tightens up on you and shifts perspective. It really keeps things interesting as well. Oh, you... Apart from there, I probably should light it. See where I'm going a little bit better. But yeah, it keeps the the scene dynamic as well, which is good. There we go. Like it's always to slight. It's never like full on to your side. It's always slightly ajar. It gives a sense of unease. We see a face. Yeah, she's like a. A little 
paper model. I'm going to say she. I don't know. Spin, spin, spin. Ah, oh, cool. Let there be light. So said God. Ah, uh, no, no, we've got to jump. Uh, that couldn't have gone worse, really. That was that I failed at the the highest possible way of failing. I failed then, the height of failure. Ah, hold extra sprint. Thank you for telling me. Ah, run, run, child. Ooh. Oh, what? I made that. Stupid door. I think you can um, slide by pressing the... Yeah, you can. I definitely made that. Another thing can open here. Ah! Like the, uh, the pyramid heads from Silent Hill. Shit. What is that? Clearly, need to get up here. Come on, I don't want to experience whatever that is. Well, let me grab on then. Someone's gaze. Yeah, and a little thing there. Uh, it saves every time I lie them. I bet there's some kind of achievement or something. Got a toilet. So this is the size of a regular person booty. And this is the size of me. Again, for perspective, can I set these on fire? So we've got a door with some electricity. Another door with an eye on it. Ha 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 Oh cool. Look around by using the right stick. And you can see into the room that you were just in as well, that's cool. Turn the electricity off. Sounds like it's on a timer. I can scooch through the bars because I'm just a tiny person. Seesaw. That's cool. Everything's really fluid and with purpose as well. That's cool. Right, I think for some reason I can go back in. Oh, you. What? For some reason, I can come back in here. I don't know why. So I can get through the door. The timer stays on for way longer than what I actually need to get through the door. I don't know what the swing set is for. And the seesaw. Awesome. Hmm. Everything has an eye on it then. I'm just seeing one of the cubes. Everything has the same eye on it. Oh, that's satisfying. Oh, 
Oh, the swing that... It might not actually be for anything at the moment. It might just be to show you... That it can be done like that. Like instilling in you that the... You know, this, the, this works in this way. So you can use it later on. I think I might need to just sprint to the other side of the room. And get out. Obviously if I've missed anything I'll know about it. Because I won't be able to progress. Run, little origami child, run! Shit everywhere in this room. I guess I can just make it through here before the power turns back on. Yeah. Got some cells here. No doubt. Holding some... All manner of horrificness. Oh shit. Okay, I'm guessing if I get seen by that eye, I'm gonna end up. Like these are the little charcoal sculptures we've got here. Let's test it out. Yep. I think so. I think so. I like how you kind of reawaken at the start of the room as well, like in some like asleep, and then you wake up in a random kind of way. That's cool. Okay, don't end up like the charcoal babies. You can, you can escape it then, you can... Oh shit. Run again. Shit. No, 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 please, 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 don't tell me to stone, don't tell me to stone, don't tell me to stone. Ah, I was on the edge of it, come on. Hmm. So yeah, you start that way every time. You don't just start like, say here, and then just walk on. That's cool, that's a nice little touch. Because obviously you're gonna die. Oh, you not, ah, uh, my fault. Totally misjudged that. I thought you was gonna. Scoot over a little bit faster than that. Stupid eye. Turn him into stone and shit. I think it kind of skits about a little bit, like it jitters from side to side like that as well. If it catches you in it, it sometimes catches you unawares. Whew, made it. I don't know if this, <laughs> this is going to sound weird. I don't know if the studio is French or not, but this really... Reminds me of a um, a French animation I watched once, and that's kind of a Frenchy vibe to it. I think it was some kind of chef animation. I can't remember what it was called. It was really, really good though. Didn't make much sense. Oh God. So the eye is kind of looking under the bed. And there's nothing there. This can't be an arbitrary room. I've got another uh, geisha there. Don't know if that means anything. I 
Okay, close the door. No. Oh, weird. Yeah, nothing under the bed either. Okay, let's press on. Uh, oh, I don't want to jump down there and then... <laughs> I was trying to see if those hanging boxes have any purpose, but I don't want to jump down onto them in case I miss and then I get turned to stone by the fucking eye there. Looking for the one ring. So I'll press on uh, Fuck. Fuck! Jesus Christ. Look at that horrific thing. Oh shit. Yep, I'm gonna get the fuck past that. Just leave that the hell alone. Jesus. You see that? Gangly arms and shit? It's the stuff of nightmares. Literally. How the hell do I get out of here? Oh, please let me out. I don't want to go back in there. I really, really don't want to go back in there. Can I climb on that? No, not really. Is there anything I can drag with me? I think he went to the other room as well. I had the door closed behind him. Oh, shit. fan of any of this. No siree. I must be able to get out of here somehow. No. Oh, God, of course you can climb on those. Oh, what a dumbass. Ah. <laughs> I keep... For some reason, I keep forgetting my perspective in relation to everything else. My uh, my size in relation to everything else. Ooh. Uh, in cinema, they use tight shots to make things way more intense like when you've got dialogue between two people and you want to have it a bit more gravitas to the situation you have the camera focus on just their head and shoulders i kind of feel that it's doing that oh god what's happening am i, am I hungry ah we're just going past a mess hall yeah Setting on pretty fast. Is she going to give me some food? What's going on? Thank you. Um, Can't really thank her, so I just, I just kind of go on. Oh, she has nothing to eat now. Another noose. This is bleak, man.
Oh. I don't know why I did that. Okay, that's, yeah, that's to show the, just the, <laughs> the length of time it would take for your, your uh, body to reach the bottom and your inevitable there. Apparently when you're falling from a great height, you just tend to pass out before you hit the ground anyway. So. It's not all bad, really. Definitely won't want to do it, though. I thought I was about to then. <laughs> uh, right, do I... No. No. I don't even think my body hit the floor then, <laughs> before it reloaded. Ah, waking up in noose room. Fantastic. I don't know what we're in. I don't know if this is some kind of prison or some kind of orphanage. School, I don't, I don't know, a boarding school maybe? That people would hang themselves in a boarding school. I'm sure more will be revealed, or maybe not. We never forgot to find out what we were doing in limbo. Uh, in uh, inside or limbo. That man. Yeah, can I swing this? Hmm. Can I jump back over this side? Okay, I'm going to try and jump over there. Nope. Uh, Definitely not what I was supposed to do. What the hell? Okay, so it's got to be a switch for the power. I don't know where it is. And this isn't here for no reason. Crawl down on the other side of this? Nope. Fiddlesticks. I have no idea. So we've got an electric fence, we've got an electric bars preventing us from getting into the uh, to the next room. We obviously need to shut the power off. Shut off the power. And then we can progress, but how? How do we shut off the power? Hmm. Okay, there's a reason we can climb up there. There's a reason we can get onto that thing. You don't... Things that are like that aren't arbitrary. They're not for decoration. If you can interact with it, nine times out of ten, you can use it to progress. Of course, there is always the one time out of ten. Nearly jumped off the fucking edge again then. So the power cable for the door leads up here. But the ver. Ver, ver, ver. Yep, yeah, he has a you can yeah, that's the that's the height you can die from. It's good science there, just making sure. So we uh, we don't come a cropper again. This bucket looks movable. Or well, it would be if I were not so puny. So we're made out of paper, I think. 
We're fine with water. Oh, I can't push this over the edge. Ah, okay. Can I pull it back in here? No, I thought I might be able to like turn the water on or something in there. No. Hmm. Okay, so we've got the cable that runs up here. Everything's metal, so the lighter wouldn't work, I guess. Oh, what is the perp? Right, okay, so this has got, this has got like a... a ramp that goes over to it, so we can clearly get on this for some reason. Oh, we can climb the fucking chain. All right, yep. Yep, we're there. Yep. Sometimes I feel stupid. I say sometimes. I mean a lot of the times. Like then when I just climbed up a ladder that led to fucking nowhere. Oh, and then when I just jumped off in the wrong fucking direction. Alright, so let go in that. Just let's go. I need to jump. What the? Okay, ignore that. That never happened. Pressing on. I get to the top of the the climbing frame thing, and then you jump to. You naturally feel like you need to press jump to go up to the to grab onto the next level, but it just jumps backwards anyway, regardless of what direction you're holding. Odd. I was going to try practicing them, but practicing over a precipice has never been the smartest of ideas. So if I just press A, yeah, if I just press A, I just jump in that direction. Can I move these ladders? Get him to lean in a certain way. No. The hell? Oh, he just he just does it that time. Okay. Weird. I must not have been at the right angle. I don't know what this does. Oh. So I can climb a bit higher on the chain. Yeah, so letting go of that just lets go completely. Um what happens if I pull I can't reset that, I can't pull that back up. What happens if I let go of that again? Is that giving it some momentum? Four. Thought I died. Okay, what I think I need to do is. Um, 
start it going and then jump on it before it leaves. door, sensing a theme. Can I pull these out to jump onto? Yes, I can. I'd be such a good little person. Oh. Ah. Uh. What? I'm pretty sure I can make that jump. Ideally, I should get this, this one out here, but I can't. I like pull that one, the middle one out instead, on the on the right, and then walk up. Over. you're walking towards it, I'll just grab it. And that one comes out a little bit because it's locked. I think that's what I'm meant to do, but it's just not grabbing it properly. to do because I've uh, pulled the second one out further than the first, uh, well, oh, I can still do it, yeah, yes, okay, yeah, there we go, I thought I was meant to do that, just wasn't grabbing the ledge. Hello. Be free. Just run. Yeah, it just turns us to new shrew. And the power's off. Oh god, that was jarring. 
when the power's off and there's no light, these things splooge about. Oh, I fucking run off the edge. This the 2.5D camera is really weird to, to grasp. Like, left won't always be direct left. It depends on which way the camera's facing. It's like I'm holding left there, but because the camera's tilted towards you in that particular scene, left becomes a little more subjective. Please let me up. I'm gonna die. This is the end. Oh! Oh, Jesus Christ! Woo! <laughs> as if. As if. Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it here on this nice little background shot as well. Um, I'm gonna leave it here for this one because I've been going off for quite a while in this intro. Still have no idea what's going on in the game. which just woken up as the yellow. Uh, origami man lady child thing and um, we're, we're progressing through uh, like a, a little version of a, of a person uh, everything's really big to us so it looks really nice it's really stylized as well and I like the the kind of look that they're going for and there's a there's clearly going to be some overarching kind of horror elements to it and really creepy characters which again I really really enjoy but yeah Please do check out the next episode as well, because I'm sure this is going to go somewhere really, really good. And uh, thank you very much for checking this one out. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!